वेलकम एवरी वन वी आर ऑन आर डी शर्मा क्लास नाइन लाइन एंड एंगल्स चैप्टर एक्सरसाइज एट पॉइंट थ्री क्वेश्चन नंबर सिक्स विच सेज दैट इफ टू स्ट्रेट लाइन इंटरसेक्ट ईच अदर प्रूव दैट द रे ऑपोजिट टू द बाइसेक्टर ऑफ वन ऑफ द एंगल्स दस फॉर्म्ड बाइसेक्ट द वर्टिकली ऑपोजिट एंगल्स सो इन दिस फिगर आई हैव ड्रॉन दिस फिगर इज ड्रॉन बाई माई सेल्फ एंड हेयर आई हैव शोन दैट ए बी एंड सी डी बाइसेक्ट एट पॉइंट O and EF bisects this uh, AB and CD. So here we are given that one bisector. So I have taken EO. So A O A O E and E O D. These I have taken as one. So these will be equal. And here this angle two will be equal to this angle two because these are vertically opposite angles. But now we have to. Prove that the ray opposite to the bisector of one of the angles bisects the vertically opposite angles. So I have shown that OF. I have to prove that OF bisects the vertically opposite angles. So these, actually, these are the angles which have to be proven that these are equal. This angle third and this angle fourth. So now, how to prove that? We know that this EF is a straight line. right it's a straight line so angle 1 plus angle 2 plus angle 3 will be equal to 180 degree because angles on a straight line is equal to 180 degree similarly angle 1 plus angle 2 plus angle 4 which are on the opposite sides will be equal to 180 degree same reason angles opposite to equals uh, angles present on a straight line are equal to 180 degree now this this is equation 1 and this is equation 2 so from 1 and 2 equation i get because right sides are equal so the left hand sides will also be equal so angle 1 plus angle 2 plus angle 3 will be equal to angle 1 plus angle 2 plus angle 4 so here cutting will occur so Angle three is equal to angle four. This was basically what we had to prove. So we have proved that the ray opposite to the bisector of one of the angles thus formed bisects the vertically opposite angles. So now let's move to question seven. So in question seven, if one of the four angles formed by two intersecting lines is a right angle, then show that each of the four angles is a right angle. So I am taking two lines AB and CD which intersect at point O. So I have taken that one angle in the question. We are given that one angle is ninety degree. So I have taken angle one is ninety degree, and now I have to prove that angle two, angle three, and angle four are also ninety degree. So if we see in this figure, so angle one and angle three will be equal because these are vertically opposite angles, right? Because these two lines intersect each other at point O. Now similarly, if I see angle one. and angle 2 these will be linear pair right these are linear pair so angle 2's measure will be 90 degree now angle 2 and angle 4 are again vertically opposite angles because they these lines intersect each other so yes now i have showed that angle 1 angle 3 angle 2 and angle 4 are 90 degree so this was what i have to show in this question Now in question number eight, we are given a figure and rays A, B, and C, D intersect at point O. So we have to determine y when x is sixty degree in the first part. I am only solving first part. You can solve second part yourself because the same method is applied. So if we see here, this angle and this angle form a linear pair, right? So their measure will be one eighty degree because linear pair. now we are given the value of x so we'll substitute it now it will be equal to 120 degree plus y is equal to 180 degree so y will be equal to 60 degree this was what we had to do in first part of question number 8 second part is similar in uh, this part we are given that y is 40 degree so we will we'll put the value of y in the second part and similarly we can find the value of x from that part 
so in question number 9 we are given a figure and we have to find the measures of angle a o and c so it means this angle then we have to find the measure of c o f so c o f this one c o f and then we have to find the measure of d o e d o e so this one sorry d o e this one this one i'm really sorry d o e and at last we have to find b o f so b o f i've marked these now here we can see that this 40 and this angle b o f are vertically opposite angles because Ray, uh, because this line EF and CD intersect at point O, so angle this one F or BOF will be equal to forty degree because of vertically opposite angles. Then if we see here this angle thirty five degree, uh, uh, sorry thirty five degree will be equal to AOC. so angle aoc will be equal to 35 degree reason being vertically opposite angles now here i can find the measure of eod how because ab is straight line right so this 40 degree plus the angle eod plus 35 degree will be equal to 180 degree reason angles on a straight line is equal to 180 degree so eod will come 105 degree now i have to find the measure of cof so how can i find this these are vertically opposite angles right these are vertically opposite angles so angle cof will also be equal to 105 degree reason being vertically opposite angles it was very simple we just have to observe what it's equal to you see there don't need anything